There is an infestation inside my crawfish tank. So we're gonna go ahead and clean every single crawfish with a toothbrush. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, there's so many. All right, Slayers, we are back and we're making another video with Lily behind the camera. But first, let's go ahead and look at our little babies right here. The little tired, wakey wakey, mm. eggs and bakey. They're doing so good. Been feeding them some high biscuits, leaves, dandelion greens. Everything Blake said, they're doing good, but all they do is sleep. But soon enough, they're gonna get big. They're gonna be walking around this yard all around here, guys. Cha 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 cha. All right, guys, so you're gonna be asking, well, I know you're not going to be asking, but I would ask if I'm watching this video. What are you doing with this? What are you doing with this? So we're going to be doing a little crawfish update. Yes, not the baby crawfish like you guys have been asking, but we are going to be doing a crawfish update. I have discovered something that I am not happy with. I'm a little spooked. You know what? Instead of talking about it, let me just go ahead and show you right now. So like I was saying guys, we have made it to our crawfish enclosure and it's a little wild if I say so myself. What do you think, babe? Yeah, this is crazy. It is pretty crazy and the reason why, there is an infestation inside my crawfish tank. Guys, I'm gonna zoom in right now. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to keep the noise to a minimum, but look at that guys, there's a whole bunch of worms. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on right here. Do you see that? That's so gross. There's so many of them. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh my Guys, I'm freaking out for real. Look at this. Oh my God. Ew. It's really gross, like look at it. Ew. Oh, there's so many on her leg. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. Now these things do invade your aquariums here and there, but look, there's a couple on this guy right here. So, there is a way to get rid of these baddies. You obviously have to clean your aquarium and stuff like that. But on top of that, you have to take them off your crawfish. Now this usually happens when you get live caught crawfish. It all starts with one little worm and then they reproduce exponentially and they invade your entire aquarium as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and clean every single crawfish with a toothbrush. We're gonna go ahead and use your toothbrush, baby. Please do. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're gonna use this baddie right here. <laughs> oh yeah. I would like to. No, no, no. Put We're not gonna down. use that. We're probably using a brush right here. And I have some other stuff on the side. <laughs> We're ready to go. Are you ready? Let's try not to get infected. Okay. So we have gloves. Put your gloves on. Great. Alright. Alright. <laughs> and I'm putting on my gloves, guys. And we're gonna go ahead and give our crawfish a little bath. So this is where we're gonna be holding our guys. I'm ready. Wow, that was that was really loud. So I'm trying not to vomit. I find this very disgusting, but I've noticed this kind of happened overnight. This many worms, guys. So I'm gonna suck this water through siphon and hopefully I don't get worms in my throat and I die. So to get rid of these baddies, you gotta pretty much Clean your entire aquarium because they're all inside the substrate, they're in your media, they're everywhere. So we might have to leave our crawfish here overnight and have to set up a new aquarium. I'm going to have to worry about them for a while. So this is going to be kind of annoying, you know, so I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen, but this is kind of insane. There's so many of them. So hopefully I'm not stuck with these worms forever because then I'm going to have to get rid of my crawfish. I don't want this to go ahead and and be a permanent thing. Now it's weird, I see like only two blue ones. If you wanna check out the tank, I only see two blue ones. I think I have a big one here. Yeah, big ones in there. We're gonna go ahead and remove everything. So, all right, there's one of the crawfish. So I was wondering where they're at. So we're gonna move this here. We're gonna put this, everything's pretty much infected. So I'm just leaving this here so they have something to hide. I'm gonna move pretty much everything there. Everything is literally infected. Now what's weird is I only have one of these crawfish here. I have two blues. I could have sworn I saw a little, another tan one. I'm missing, I'm missing one more. Oh, he, he's infected too. How about the blue ones? Oh yeah, for sure. So we fed some to Chandler's uh, snapping turtle and I've, I've been using other ones as bait as well to catch some fish. So we're kind of down on the, uh, the crawfish life. So, but I, I think there's gotta be more. Where's the one that had the babies the first time? We're moving stuff around. There's the other one. 
There's the other one, if you can see. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one first. Let's go ahead and get blue. Blue is fast. Blue is real fast. So, all right, I think we got blue. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just grab him and secure him. Now guys, go ahead and see right here. Let's go ahead and turn on the flash real quick. You have any worms, guy? Any worms? Oh, <gasps> look, it's on my finger. Ew. It's disgusting. Oh. Look at that. It's on my finger, you guys see that? Yeah. All right, this is why I wear gloves and I recommend you wear gloves, this is gross. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get rid of this. And there's another one on his head, so I'm gonna get rid of this right now. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> now guys, you see this one on top? We're gonna go ahead and just grab this off of him. You see that? Yeah. We're gonna grab this one, this right off of him. Just yank him out. Now these worms clean the shell, but they're just latched on. So I think, I think blue is worm free guys. I think he's worm free completely. And then look at this guy right here. Look at this worm. See that? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and put blue right there. I'm gonna get rid of this worm. Goodbye. Can never be seen again. All right. So when you're cleaning your crawfish, which you don't have to do this. If you're okay with all those worms, that's on you. But you don't have to do this. They do promote a good clean shell for the crawfish as well as gill cleaning. But when you're doing this, make sure you have some dechlorinated water because the crawfish here, come check this out guys. The crawfish need to make sure that they're wet. As long as they're wet, they're fine. So, I mean, try not to have too much fun using the super soaker, but pretty much that crawfish is gonna be okay until we finish cleaning. All right, as you can see, look how many. Blue was lucky that he had a few, but this one right here has a billion. Now let's go ahead and see if the bigger one has a lot. Now I gotta find blue, I gotta find blue now. Blue is somewhere. Where'd blue go? Blue? Blue disappeared. Oh my gosh. He's gone. Now here, I wonder if blue is in like in the filtration area or something, but look at this one. Here's the big guy. That's a lot. So that's why I have the toothbrush to go ahead and brush all these guys out. So I'm gonna grab one right there. Lily, you can stay right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the big guy. Don't fight me. Oh, he's fighting me. It's all right, buddy. I'm gonna get you all squeaky clean. So we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna go ahead and put on the flash so you can see the worms and so I can see them as well. I brought a bucket so that I can clean everything in a bucket. So let's go ahead and see where these worms are at. Oh, there, there's a couple right here. There's so many. I'm definitely gonna have to restart my aquarium because this is too much. I'm gonna put that there. I'm trying not to be a little grossed out because I don't think it's nice to have all these worms. But look at them crawling on them, you see that? Ew. There's so many on them. Yeah, that's a lot. There's a lot. I'm, I'm like really, I have goosebumps right now, as you can see guys, and I'm like freaking out, but this is what you do. You just go right here, dial some, hold them, and I'm just gonna give my guy a nice little brush. Rub a dub dub in the tub. Get off my crawfish, please. This is really gross, yada yeah. So, all right, we're gonna brush this guy, get everything out. Now, even though crawfish are very, very hardy and the shells are hardy, but still still make sure to, to be careful when you're brushing them so that you don't hurt them or break any appendages at all. So this is a male crawfish. If you haven't seen the video where I sex them, I'm gonna link it below, but this is crazy. I'm gonna continue brushing this guy and then we'll get right back at it. All right guys, so as you can see, I think he is all cleaned up and we are rid of our worms just like blue. So we're gonna put this guy over here Nice, we're good, we're good. And we're gonna go ahead and put blue down. Be free, my friend. So they're pretty good right now. Don't fight, hey, relax. It's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put those guys down and we're gonna go ahead and get the females now. All right, let's see what happens. This is one of my other ones. I guess she's been getting beaten up or something. She's been fighting for some territory. So she is the one that is loaded oh, with man. them. Do you guys see that? Ew, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Oh, look at that. He caught himself. I almost don't want to clean this one. Hmm. We might have to release her. 
Clean her. Clean her? Clean her. Clean her. Well, Lily wants to clean her. So Lily's cleaning this one. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our toothbrush. We have everything. This is the one I'm spooked about. I, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies just holding this. Can we see what's going on here? She has a whole bunch. What's crazy is that you can't see them unless they're in the water. You notice that? Yeah. You can't see them unless they're in the water. Yeah, they're hard to find. They're hard to find, but they're on her body. They're on her body. I'm gonna leave this net in here just in case. I don't wanna infect anything else, but where are they? Do you guys see them? I don't know. They're not as white. They're not as white, but in the water, it looks like she has a whole bunch of hair. Man, she's a feisty one. You know, we're gonna leave her there um, cause she's the most infected after a very epic game of rock, paper, scissors, shoot with Lily. I won and we safely released our crawfish back into the wild because that was, I just didn't want to deal with that. I can deal with a couple of them, but like that's, that's a lot. You know me, I don't have hair and that looks like it had a <laughs> lot of hair and I can't deal with that. So let's go ahead and get our other crawfish. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Anyone home? Hello? Hello? I see it. You see them? I see it. They're in there. It's in there. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me go ahead and get them out. You guys see Crayola? Yes. There's Crayola. And there's Mama Craw. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you guys. I see her. There's Mama Craw. So let's go ahead and see if I can get Crayola out. It's going to be really hard to get these out. Oh, my God. Guys, oh, my God. Oh, we did it again. We did it again. Now, it wasn't with the ones I wanted. But I think we have more crawfish babies. We got eggs, I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tickle my crawfish out of here. This is probably gonna work out the best. Come on. All right. Aww. So here's Crayola, as you can see. She almost looks absolutely purple. So we're gonna give her a nice little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub right in the tub. La la la. La la la. You guys are really serious and wanna know, I'm using a medium bristle toothbrush, but it's not that deep, guys. It's not that serious. But look, we're getting all the nasty little buggers out. I don't know if Lily's getting all that stuff. And I hope you guys can see, but they're falling down one by one. Look, 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 look. He's right on top, right? You see him? Yep. Be gone, Satan. <laughs> Be gone. So we're going to go ahead and clean this one, get it all situated, and make sure that our tank is no longer infested by the evil white wan. I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Crayola here a nice little pedicure. Getting her claws all cleaned up. It's almost mating season. We're gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> mate these crawfish with blue again. Now, I didn't think she took um, his sperm, to be completely honest. Therefore, she didn't lay eggs. So we're just gonna go ahead and give it a try and uh, kind of force them. I'm gonna be separating them. They're gonna be getting their entire own enclosure so they can go ahead and uh, get it on all night long so she's so cool and so purple guys she is. look at that you guys see that oh relax i don't want to lose your claws relax we're almost done i know I let me go ahead and give her a nice little drink just wet her oh oh there's another one look at that so as you can see right here guys that is one of those worms be gone and just like that that's all you have to do scrub and continue to scrub forever and so they're all gone and with the occasional little spritz to do that and we're good to go i'm about to spray you girl we finished this one let's go ahead and put her in here look at the other ones i'm gonna grab some light so you guys can see how beautiful this looks look at that it's a little crawfish enclosure right there but i'm observing them to make sure they don't have any more worms and look how clean they are go ahead and check out this guy look how clean he is now compared to before unblemished and then you have the blue ones over here if you want to check those out. So now it's time to go ahead and get Mama Crawfish. Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of Joey Slam Z.